What's going on gamers? Today we're going over how to set up and play a Vault Hunter server in Minecraft. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our future videos. When you're playing vanilla Minecraft, a large part day in and day out is exploring and finding new things to look at and fight, but that can get kind of repetitive in the basic worlds. You may be lacking a true sense of adventure after pillaging so many villages. Or saving them, I should say. Well, this is where Vault Hunters comes in, a mod pack dedicated to the adventure experience. Today we'll be going over how to install it and a little bit of how to play it. But before we get into it, you gotta know that you can find any links you may need in the description below. Well, let's get started. First thing you're gonna need to do is install it on your server side. So head into your Apex panel and select the red stop button in order to stop your server. From here, you're gonna scroll down to the game file section and in the dropdown bar, you're going to type in the search bar, Vault Hunters. One of the first things that should show up is Vault Hunters, and you're going to select that. Then you're going to change version, then select create new world as you don't want to interfere with any other world and make a mix up happen. And finally, you're going to select restart now. Once the server is restart, you'll be good to load the mod pack on your Apex server. To install it on your client, you're first going to want to head to download.curseforge.com in order to download the CurseForge app. Obviously, you're going to select whatever your operating system is and download it from there. Once you've downloaded it and you're in the app, you're going to go to the Browse Mod Packs tab. From here in the search bar, you're going to type up Vault Hunters, as you did before. And one of the first and only things that should show up is Vault Hunters official mod pack. You're going to go ahead and just select the install button on the right hand side there. And once the install is complete, you'll be able to head to the My Mod Packs tab and then simply play the pack. Now let's get into the mod pack a bit. The first thing that you may notice is unfortunately the vaults are not accessible until you defeat the Ender Dragon and obtain access to the end cities. So just do your best Minecraft speedrun, or maybe just playing creative like I'm gonna do. Before you can get into the vault though, you must first craft the Vault Altar. It requires one whole diamond block, four obsidian, and four purple, which is obtained in the end cities. So go ahead and craft that like so, and now you have your Vault Altar. From here, you're also going to need a Vault Rock Ore, which is rarer than diamonds, so good luck. Once you've placed it down, you're going to right click it with the Vault Rock. From here, you're going to see a personalized recipe on how to make a Vault Crystal. Once you have all the necessary materials, you're going to drop all the items into the altar by using the drop button. From here, you're going to slap a button down next to the altar once you've completed every item required, and you're going to press it in order to get your very own vault crystal. Now, we're going to need to make a vault portal. It looks very similar to a nether portal, but what you're going to need to use is a blackstone instead of obsidian. From here, you're going to go ahead and use the vault crystal on the portal, which will create your portal. This is your first vault, and you need to definitely make sure that you have full gear before you get in there, because danger is everywhere. Well, once you're into the vault, you're going to be given a 25 minute timer, as well as modifiers that show up in the chat. These modifiers are all different, and they're all randomized depending on the vault, so best of luck to you. From here, you're going to have to either complete the vault in 25 minutes or leave. There are many different types of rooms to be found in the vaults. Some are very, very pretty and some are absolutely terrifying, mainly because of the monsters. The monsters are all over the place and there is no natural health regeneration inside of the vault. Plenty of chests can be found around the area, 
some with better loot than others, and once you're ready and done looting, what you're going to need to do to complete the dungeon officially is find all the obelisk pillars throughout the dungeon. They're going to be marked with particles, so you'll be able to find them pretty easily. What you're going to need to do is find them all, and then in the final room, once you've found the final obelisk, a boss will spawn, and once you've defeated the boss, you will have officially completed the vault. This will return you to the overworld with everything that you've earned, and a boss crate filled with a bunch more items. Now let's cover a common issue. The main one is kind of a generalized group, and essentially all it is, is if there's a version mismatch. If something's not running right, it's likely just because you don't have the correct version matching with the server and the mod pack. Just make sure you're running the correct version, matching each one, and you should be good to go. Well gamers, that's Vault Hunters. This is a super awesome mod pack, especially for people who like the adventure side of Minecraft more than the building side. I'm one of those people. I love the challenge of trying to defeat things with higher stakes than the typical Minecraft experience. Of course, there's a lot to customize, a lot to find, and a lot to have fun with, so go ahead and get started. Well gamers, that'll just about do it for this video. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.